now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast with meteorologist Ricky Matthews. Hey, this morning we've got a little bit of cloud cover over the area. You're looking here from the camera located at the James River Bridge. Decent amount of clouds there, but those clouds helping to keep us a little warmer in a few spots this morning. Check this out. 41 in Newport News, 45 in Norfolk. We're 38 in Wakefield and 49 in Virginia Beach. The clouds are a little thicker across Hampton Roads than they are in inland areas. Got some low-level clouds across Hampton Roads. It's one of the reasons the temperatures are a little warmer there compared to areas inland. You can see that on the satellite, got a lot of clouds across parts of North Carolina, some rain back in Ohio. And then around our area, some of those clouds just kind of hanging around as we've got an area of high pressure to our north and a stationary front to our south. That stationary front tomorrow is going to be interacting with us and allowing for us to get our warmer temperatures back into the upper 70s. Today, we'll see temperatures in the 60s. It'll be warmer than yesterday, but not as warm as we'll see on Sunday. Now, with a little bit of that cloud cover today, a little bit of that moisture hanging around, could see a spotty sprinkle, spotty shower, even a little bit of light drizzle, especially this morning in areas uh, near the coast and inland. Now, notice here as we go through the day, winds are out of the southeast. Watch what happens as we head into Sunday. Here comes the warm front. Winds shift to a more southwesterly direction. Helping breezy, too. Some gusts up to 25, maybe 30 as we head into Monday. But those breezy conditions help to usher in the warm air. Now, as we go through Sunday, decent amount of cloud cover from time to time. We'll call it kind of a mix of clouds and sunshine for Sunday. Rain chances stay away from us, but the breezy conditions is something you will notice. Here's what your temperatures look like hour by hour today. Upper 50s, low 60s across the area as we go through today. Town by town, temperatures a little cooler in the Outer Banks, closer to the water, 62 in Elizabeth City, 64 in Gatesville, and then low 60s to mid 60s inland areas of South Side, a little cooler along the coastline as well, 61 in Norfolk and 60 in Virginia Beach. Upper 50s for the peninsula, 53 in Melpa, and 60 in Matthews. All right, hour by hour tomorrow, look how much warmer we get. Upper 70s as we head towards uh, tomorrow afternoon, and then as we head towards uh, Monday, Temperatures are climbing even more than that. Let's show you that. As we zoom into Hampton Roads, zoom into eastern North Carolina, we're at 74, 74, 77 degrees tomorrow afternoon for high temperatures. We only drop into the 60s overnight Sunday into Monday, and then we're back up to near 80 in many locations Monday afternoon. So great weather on the way, with the exception maybe that spotty sprinkle today if you've got any outdoor activities, lots of 5Ks, lots of outdoor events starting to kick off as we head more and more into springtime. 80 degrees for Monday, 61 Tuesday as we start to see another weather system head our direction. That weather system is in the form of a cold front. It's out towards the west this weekend. It advances towards our area as we head into late Monday night and into Tuesday. So here we are at 2.30, or excuse me, 1.30 a.m. Tuesday morning, and you notice the showers pushing in. Those showers are with us through the early morning hours of Tuesday, then Tuesday afternoon clearing out. Another opportunity Oops, let's go back. Another opportunity for some rain showers there as we head into Wednesday. 50% uh, chance there. And then as we head towards Thursday and Friday, uh, rain chances dropping to around 20 to 30%, but still in the forecast. So kind of a drier stretch of weather here through the weekend. And then another opportunity for some showers as we head into the work week.